When coating a screen with emulsion, there are a few questions to consider. How thick should the emulsion layer be? Which side should have a thicker coat? Why would you do something other than a standard 1x1 one one or 1x2 one coat? Should you use the sharp or dull side of a scoop coater? All of the answers to these questions are dependent on the job at hand and the detail you are looking to try to achieve. The thickness of your emulsion or stencil is directly tied to how thick of an ink deposit you will put down in one print stroke. A thicker stencil means the screen will be able to hold more ink in the well of the stencil. For Plastisol ink, a 1x2 coat is the best. This means that the front of the squeegee side gets one coat, while the t-shirt side gets two coats. When printing water-based ink, the opposite is best, a 2x1 coat. Water-based inks are thinner, so you don't need the welling up of the ink on the t-shirt. A thicker deposit might smash out fine lines as it spreads. Water-based white is a bit thicker, so consider the viscosity of your ink when coating a screen. For 95% of jobs, a 1x1, one 1x2, one, one or 2x1 will work perfectly. Here are some examples of when you would want to switch things up. If you're looking for a thicker ink deposit, try using the dull side of the coater to lay down a bit more emulsion. You could always just do another print pass or a print flash print while on press. If you need a smaller ink deposit, switch to the sharp side. If you are at a high mesh count and have a lot of detail, but need a thicker ink deposit, try adding another coat of emulsion. You can always go down in mesh count, but that will drastically affect how much detail you can achieve. Puff inks require a thick stencil for a nice big lofty print, so a 2x2 or even a 2x3 would work best for this specialty ink. What works best is all dependent on the design you are printing, so testing is the best way to get a perfect screen. A nice smooth coat ensures a sharp image and reduces a pixelated look on the lower meshes for higher resolution of details. It's all about learning what levers you can pull to achieve the outcome you are going for. The thickness of your emulsion also increases your exposure times and dry times, so keep that in mind as you go forward through the process. If you are changing your coating methods from what you normally do, use an exposure calculator to make sure that you are hitting the perfect exposure times. Thanks for watching, screen printers. If you found this video helpful, you won't want to miss our comprehensive online course, How to Screen Print with a Kit 250 Edition, available exclusively on ScreenPrinting.com. Watch today for free and take your skills to the next level.